Hello everybody, I'm Charles Burridge. I'm the plant manager here in Marshalltown, Iowa. Uh, what I'm about to introduce to you are our T3 daily operational meetings. Uh, I want to tell you a few things about the meetings before we actually roll into the meeting. Uh, the meeting has been designed to replace our daily production meetings. We had a morning production meeting. Those generally lasted anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half at times. Uh, what we were able to do on average with them lasting an hour, we were able to shave that down into a 10 minute format here with these T3 meetings here down on the floor, which actually puts us closer to the trenches where all the activity and all the action are. Um, these, these meetings being held on the factory floor also allow us to walk directly into a gimba, so that's another benefit from that. I did mention that we, on average, are having these meetings at 10 minutes, and we've actually had a couple of five to six minute meetings, and they have been value, value added. Excuse me. Uh, the key metrics are populated daily by responsible team holders. You'll see on the board when we have there, it's more or less our SQDC. I'm over safety. We have quality, where our quality engineer mans that. Uh, we have our, our costing being a uh, the responsible person being Chris Hodgson and so on uh, with delivery and uh, pro productivity. So these are uh, KPIs that we track and monitor daily and then we gather into this uh, T3 meeting to discuss and review. The previous meetings were much more conversation based and these are much more met metric based. So basically uh, we have metrics set up to make sure we're hitting the metric and when we're not uh, what we are to do is to create an, an action on the opportunity or action board. Uh, the posture is standing up, so more people are more engaged versus when we were in a sit-down session where people could get disengaged necessarily, uh, working on computers, things of that nature. So the, the stand-up and engagement right here on the floor has really been a benefit for the entire team. Uh, some of the opportunities that are rolled up from our T2 meetings are rolled into the T3 meetings. These opportunities are tracked towards completion and reviewed daily in this meeting. Since we are already on the factory floor, I mentioned, this allows us to lead from some of these actions and opportunities that we see on the opportunity board and go straight into the gimbal. A lot of times these actions that are on the opportunity board dictate where we're going to do our gimbal. And if we don't have something necessarily there that points us in that direction, then we'll just do a complete floor gimbal. So this helps us uh, put a little more focus in the areas that, uh, that necessarily need um, We use a proactive leadership style with a high focus and a lot of follow-up. There's timelines in here and people are expected to meet their deadlines. It's a culture of operational excellence and it's given approximately an hour a day for our leadership team to be more value added. Um, from this, uh, we hope you enjoy the upcoming video where we will be doing uh, T3 meeting, and you can see the meeting up close and personal. Thank you. Hello, everybody. This is Charles again. Uh, what I'm going to do now is show you a little more detail of our T3 boards, how they're structured, and what the metrics are. Uh, we begin with SQDC. Uh, those are the four uh, required. And then we added a couple additional, which I'm going to focus on right now, which was productivity. We have two buildings. We have an east building and a west building. What I'm going to focus on is our west building production. The responsible owner, as you can see in the picture here, is Bernie Johnston. At the top, you see the macro level. This is a rolling 12 month, so it's giving us a macro level, letting us know necessarily how we're doing. You can see this is right here. It gives a, a printout for the month last month, 104%, when we had a goal of 97%. Uh, previous year, 88%, so we're doing pretty good. Right here gives us a daily look as well of performance, it's a daily visual, giving us a status report on a daily. So right now, Bernie's been doing really well. If he weren't, you'd see some red somewhere in here, but we've been in the green with the exception of the weekends, where we didn't work at all. Uh, you get down here, we have a Pareto. This is where we're doing our investigations and corrective actions. So we're Paredoing right now, trying to figure out what is the monthly big hitter. Uh, on here you can't necessarily see it, but some of the things listed are uh, tooling, no material, equipment, things of that nature. We'll Pareto that out and then we'll attack the big hitter. Uh, lastly, we're down here, once again you have somewhat of a micro level daily visual. It's letting us know our goal line here, 
As you can see, all month long, Bernie's been beating goal of 97%. That's pretty exceptional, once again, when you see where he was at 88%. So we would have been under goal, more or less, all through 2018. Uh, opportunities are then logged down here on the bottom here, so you can see where our Create Standard Work is an opportunity. Some of the discussions that come up will go up in the side here. We'll determine if it falls down into the opportunities. If it falls into the opportunities, it may make it over into our Opportunity and Actions Board, depending on uh, the timing that it takes to resolve and the severity of the issue. So the last thing I wanted to touch base on is we also have a time clock. You can't necessarily see it here, but we color code it. And it lets us know where we're at. Uh, the first 10 minutes of the meeting when we start at 920, uh, we've greened out the clock. And uh, we'll get a picture of that where you can see it. But that lets us know we're still uh, doing well within the time frame. The next 10 minutes are highlighted yellow. And that's letting us know we're getting close to the end where we need to be closing this meeting out. Fortunately, we haven't made a 20 minute meeting yet. Uh, this meeting, as I mentioned in the intro, uh, they're averaging right about six minutes. Well, last but not least, we have our Opportunities and Action, opportunities and action Board. Uh, from there, I mentioned earlier, from the SQDC boards, uh, we will pull the opportunities from there, and depending on if it's not a just do it, and it looks like there's going to be some time associated to getting the activity closed, it will show up here on our Opportunity and Action Board. On the Opportunity and Action Board, we will assign an owner, and from this, after assigning the owner, the date that it's established, as well as generally we try to give 30 days and if it's somewhat shorter than that we may allocate two weeks and we know it's going to go over we don't like to but we may allocate 40 days or two months but that generally doesn't happen most things the expectation is get it knocked out within a 30-day time frame uh, we use the progression to let us know where we're at with it once again it's color coded so you can see where some goals are beyond the 30-day time frame uh, they're in the red the ones that are in the green, uh, we don't discuss too much in detail because we know we're on track. So that also uh, helps with allocating the right amount of time and not spending too much time on something that doesn't need it. Uh, lastly, we'll update comments over here. What is their update if there is an update? Generally, if you're in the red, we're expecting to see a daily update on how that's changing to get us back in the green. Uh, that concludes the Opportunity and Action Board. Thank you for your time.